before we continue with uh, gameplays, um, I just uh, want to announce, uh, before I forget um, about the um, our halftime show, um, I know halftime shows are usually for um, for uh, for sporting events, but um, but I want to have a halftime show for um, for uh, doing a walkthrough as well. And basically, I'm just gonna take a uh, one week break uh, from doing from doing the walkthroughs, and um, instead, I'm gonna just um, just present to you um, a recap of just of uh, the four worlds I've done: uh, World One. Two, the Mushroom World, and World Three. So for the first halftime show of gameplays on Game Boy TV, I'm gonna be, you know, as I said, I I will uh, walk uh, you through everything, um, some highlights of the first four worlds, what I found really interesting, um, and uh, so on and so forth, um, and also some uh, other things unrelated to uh, the video game walkthrough. Um, there, I will also be presenting um, another piano cover video of mine. Um, I don't know which song I'm going to do. I don't know if it's going to be a classical song or a contemporary song. That's uh, for me to decide uh, within this week. And um, as well as um, uh, kind of like a mini Facebook rant, you know, um, as uh, you've seen, if you've seen um, the videos so far, at least the gameplay videos, um, you know that I've uh, I have expressed um, hatred is a strong word, but um, disgust uh, for social media, and uh, I found a really interesting story today that just broke on CNN um, about uh, about how and why Facebook can be can lead to extreme problems, but creating chaos, you know, is um, is the the best that I can put it. So all that and uh, much more, um, we, I thank you once again for watching Gameplays on New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the Nintendo 3DS, Gameplays on Game Boy TV. We now come to the World 3 Ghost House. Once again, these items, these item blocks in ghost houses are, they're, they're pretty clever, you know, they'll jump when you're, when you're about to, when you're about to hit them. Okay, so I guess, um, we're gonna be, ha we're gonna have to deal with these these um these platforms that are carried on by these ghosts throughout the whole level. However, since we have the raccoon, um, we have the raccoon Mario. Um, oh darn it, I just lost it. But it would make it much simpler since you don't have to like really since you could fly just like slowly drift down to the next platform. But anyways, we made it to the next um, next area here. Oh darn it, I messed that up. Well, I'll just find another block and get an another raccoon. Another super leaf. There's something up there, I should check that out. Maybe these platforms will act like an elevator. Okay, there's our first coin. Let's check that door on the left. Alright. I don't know if there's a gap below, um, but I'm just staying on that platform just to be safe. I guess there was. If there was a gap. I would have lost a life there. Let's check the one on the right, right here. There's another door to the right of that, so I'll check that out later, if I could get back.
Well, I'm missing a couple coins here so far. Um, oh, there's a passageway. I'll check that out. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I found the secret exit first. That's something rare. Normally I'd find the regular exit, but I just just by exploring I just happen to find the secret exit. So let's go back and explore the rest of the level and see where um where some of these missing coins are. We didn't check out that door to the far right. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to make an apology. Earlier I said that I had found that one, that star coin that I found uh, that I said was the first, was actually the second. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping, I'm losing track sometimes and uh, I'm sorry if that happened. It's like right that area there where the, all those doors are by the, on the ceiling. Um, but yeah, I want to clear that up if anyone wants to correct me. Um, I, I just realized I had collected, I had already collected two, two star coins at the time I reached the secret exit, so I actually only had one star coin left to collect, and, um, but don't worry, I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, sometimes my priority is just finishing the level and leaving the star coins out, since I can always replay the level, but, um... Okay, so this is the end of the level now. Pretty simple. I don't think I lost a life. Which is good. Because normally, ghost houses, they're not, they're sometimes, can be a bit challenging. But let's move on. This is, um, to our next level. This is World 3-5. We have two more worlds, including this one. This is the last, should be the last under underwater level for World 3. Oh my goodness. This, uh, this is most likely gonna be a level filled with squids, or bloopers, whatever you wanna call them. These are, these are enemies I particularly do not like. They, um, you just don't know what their next move is, you know, you just, it's really hard to anticipate where they're going. Although you kinda have a feeling where they're gonna go because they're always looking out for you. Like, well, not looking out, they're on the hunt for you. But, um, but sometimes they'll deceive you. We'll also have to dodge some boulders, which we need. Well, we need to use to our advantage because there's a star coin that's there. Oh, Alright, now I gotta really dodge him. So, okay. under the down the pipe we go. Alright, this is where I'm gonna have to be fast. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on that gold coin like this in order to avoid the squids coming down from each of the pipes above. Hit, let's hit that checkpoint so we can grow big. There we go. Man, it's hard. I just wanted to hit them. I wasn't at the proper angle to defeat them with that fireball. 
now they're coming left and right. There's two of them. That was just unfortunate right there. I was so close to getting that 8th coin. Now I'm gonna have to... to be on survival mode here. Okay, this, this is a trail of coins leading to a pipe. Hopefully there's a star coin there. I guess not, it's probably just a room with a P-switch to another coin opportunity place. Alright. Let's, let's get out of here. We have one more coin, star coin is fine. Okay. Keep it down. We need a bigger boulder like that in order to defeat that. In order to break the wall here and get our third coin. Oh no, it's coming straight for me! That was a bit foolish of me to, to have uh, been a, put myself in a position like that. Um. Okay, so I know I know where to go now. I know where to go when that big boulder comes. You've gotta stay right above, right above near the ceiling, like right here. And just avoid getting hit. I underestimated the size of that boulder, unfortunately. So, now we're good to get the third one. Overall, I didn't think this level was too bad. Um, certainly, I could have caught, got some more coins, but um, yeah, it, it was a pretty good level, I have to say. But now it's off to to the castle, where supposedly, uh, um, I don't know which one to believe. So here, I'll explain. There's supposedly two princess peaches, you know. As you know, I, if you recall, um, in one of the videos I, sh I, I showed you that there's, that Princess Peach, um, is in the flower special world after I had used the warp cannon in the mushroom world. And now there's another Princess Peach in the, the, uh, the regular world. Gotta know which to believe, you know, our, are there really two points of speech, or is there, or is one of them a phony? Those chainsaws, they remind me from, of, um, of those from, uh, in Super Mario World, I, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. And appropriately, this is where our boss, the, uh, the boss for this world, Wendy Koopa, um, currently, uh, resides. So it's uh, appropriate if there's a level that was themed similar to Super Mario World. Yeah, a lot of lot of references, you know, and, uh, and um, I'm pretty sure they've appeared in other games before. Um, can't think of the top of my head. Um, maybe in New Super Mario Brothers. Um, but I just figured, since there are so many connections to Super Mario World, I figured, you know, that this would be one of them. Okay. Yeah, that was a room full of, uh, of chainsaws. And another room full of chainsaws. That mini pipe there is probably the least of my concern. Oh my goodness! Wow. That was interesting. Okay. Let's grab that coin. I think. Oh gosh. Okay, good. Find a rat. Uh, 
super loop to become Raccoon Mark. There's a ledge up there that I should be that I should be able to go above, but I would have needed a super lead. We're missing one star coin, so let's jump on her. What? I just found out that there was an invisible block that you had to hit that gives you um, something to stand on and uh, reach that ledge there. So now that you know, we have a... Well that block, that invisible block contained a mushroom. So and then that block there inside um, after that was a super leaf. So that's, uh, that's great for us. Make it will make the uh, the battle much easier. So evidently, what I had to do is I have to wait. I'm I'm sure the water will recede like that. And while that's happening, I also have to dodge some cheap cheap. The place is gonna fill up with water again. I had a luck. That was a lucky hit. The, the the place was about to fill up with water, and I just I just have one more hit to go. Good. Let's grab the key and head on to World Four. That's our next boss, that must be Morton Koopa. Thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. Now is our halftime report as I mentioned in the beginning. And um, hopefully you will enjoy it. And uh, the recap and halftime coming up next on Gameplays on Game Boy TV.